Come on, I, I work for Fleischer work. and Popeye really? and, I, and Betty Boop, and I work for Disney, absolutely. Bob, I never oh, knew well, that. Look, You're keeping the, secrets you learn, from me. Look, you learn new things all the time, but I, I used to do Mickey Mouse. Son of I don't a think I remember it too well, but anyway, uh, it was one of my favorite characters. So there was a time when you were really legit, Yeah, I worked huh? for Disney uh, uh, out here, and I also worked for Fleischer's, uh, Fleischer Studios in New York. Oh, now, Max they, Fleischer, they did the Betty Boops and so Betty forth? Betty Boop, right. absolutely. Okay, I'll start with a profile because it's a lot easier. Actually, I could draw this here without looking, the profile, that is. I just want to show I you something. I always thought you did draw without looking. I mean, no, this, <laughs> this is hard because, you see, I'm not really looking at it, and it's a little off, I know that. But anyway, this is Batman without looking, which isn't too bad, come to think of it. That's, you know, without looking at it. How about with looking? Now we'll kind of try to look and do okay. a good one. So that you could take it home and hang it on your bathroom wall or whatever you want to do. There we go. Stand, my friend. The hand is quicker than the eye. Now, how many times do you think I drew this character? Once God. or twice. Oh. Once or twice. You know, actually, without penciling it, it, it never comes out as well as when you pencil in the character. I know. But I've drawn it so many times. It's a very easy stand. You just have to know where to put the lines. And, and drawing is quite simple if you know where to put the lines. Well, that's all drawing is, right? Knowing where to put the lines. Well, actually, that's really the drawing because the brain draws, not the hand. Yeah. No, I'm serious. This is the mechanical part of it. But you've got to have the picture up here, and you're really tracing it I see it down the picture there. in my mind's eye as a cartoonist. And the reason I can draw and other people can't is I visualize it. The Batman, when I spoke to Disney once over at, at Disney Studios, and I knew Walt for a while. And we were discussing our various characters, you know, Mickey Mouse. And, and I, I said to him, what do you attribute Mickey Mouse's nationwide and worldwide fame to? He said, it's the simplicity of the character, the way it's drawn, that most people look at it and recognize it immediately. And that's what makes a good character. It's Batman... The simplicity of the line makes it recognizable easily, mm -hmm. so that when you draw it, they look at it and they say, oh, Batman, not Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man is also simple, and that's, that, that's the, I attribute its great success to the simplicity of the line. If you make it too complicated, people, you lose the audience. Well, there's so, a lot more to say. It's a very graphic icon that's easily identifiable. Yeah, it's something that, you know, Batman is probably one of the most recognized characters. There are five famous characters in the world outside of Spider-Man. I guess it's Batman, Mickey Mouse, Sherlock Holmes, James Bond, might be one of one, one or two others. Bob Kane. Yeah, and Bob <laughs> Kane, and the Batman, actually. Okay. And that is your signature. Well, I hope so. I used Which... to put a box around it and... Uh... <laughs> now, have you ever tried to draw Spider-Man? Uh, if you know I what he looks like? If I saw a picture, it would be a lot easier, but just off just the top. Just imagine me with a Spider-Man mask. That'll give just you Just off the top. I really, I've seen it in the book, but I, I don't remember it too well. But you anyway. Know, this is unfair. Nobody's going to believe it. But, you know, this has not been rehearsed. I'll, Bob just, and I just, I'll just give it a uh, shot. I really, you know, I haven't seen it lately. And uh, I don't really look at comics anymore, Stan. I, uh, I retired from comic book drawing in 1966. But anyway, I know it has a lot of webs all around the thing, and uh, the Actually, eyes... they go this way. They sort of originate there, and oh, they do, go do out. they really? And they go out like the radiation why don't, why don't radiating you, Why don't lines. you draw it? No, because I'm not the guest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It... And you'd complain. You'd say, oh, Stan, Well, took we have the Penguin again. in the new movie, oh, as you know. Oh, let's see that. Yeah, let's, I, and... I haven't seen you draw a villain in a long time. We have the Penguin as the villain in, in the new Batman movie, and... Um, Danny DeVito is playing the Penguin. He's wonderful, isn't He's he? He's a wonderful actor, and the makeup is very gruesome. Uh -huh. It doesn't look like the comic Penguin at all, like the comic book Penguin. Well, he looks like... What could? What could, really? Well, anyway... You sure have these reduced down to the barest essentials, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's simplicity is, is the answer to it. Uh, what happens, what I object to about Ghost Artists, and that, not just the Batman, is that... I used to copy the comics, as I told you as a kid, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. It used to happen with all the strips, even at Marvel. Do you Marvel, like that idea? Even, is that well, a good idea? I think it, you almost have to Automatically it that. happens that way? You know why? Take Spider-Man. Every artist who does it gives it his own flavor, his right. own style. I think what happens is if an artist draws in the style of another artist, of the man who originated the strip, let's yeah. say, 
He's not drawing his best. It's not the best he can draw. He's, well, you know this, Bob. You've got to draw in your own style for it to be the best Bob Kane it can be. So what they do is they base the drawing on what the original artist created. And then, and they, then change they change it into their own personality. Yeah, they, they have to, or else it won't be good. Um, I disagree with that. Yeah, you know, he wore a sailor hat. I if know. you do it too good, I won't even try. He had a sailor hat, and actually, and it was a cap of some sort. Of, well, he may, maybe he had both. Oh, you've done this before. You've <laughs> done it before. No, I, I forgot kind of what he looks like. He had one pup I know. That's very good. It's kind of something like that. Yeah, it's he got the feeling of him. Yeah. yeah. Just a fast sketch. All right, let me see. Let me see. He if also I, had if a. I, he also had a pipe. That's right. Okay. Let me see if I can still remember. Um, I used to do them this way. You know, if you took a few cartoon lessons, maybe uh, you would have been a cartoonist. I don't remember if this was the eye that was closed and this was the open. I don't remember either. Eye. And then, of course, he had the pipe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Michelle That's Pfeiffer okay. plays Catwoman. And she's really a pussy cat. Yeah. She only is playing the role. You know, you, you hear what the rumor is. What is she the hopes to get a drawing of her by Bob Kane. Well, listen, I'd like to give she... her more than a drawing. <laughs> what can I tell you? She's terrific. I don't know what you can tell me, but I hope you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Not on camera anyway, Stan. All uh, right. Now, this is Catwoman. Yeah. Son of a gun. She's uh, very sexy in the film, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. she, she, she does a lot of her own stunts, but they have a stunt woman. She does a lot of flips. She does, really? Yeah, a lot of flips in the movie, like... Herself, like, you mean? Yeah, well, not well. Michelle. They have a stunt... Oh, the stunt woman does. Yeah, the yeah. stunt woman. But she's, uh... Well, it, it's a little more detail than that, but, you know... We'll do the Joker now, and... Well, we uh, haven't done that. That's no. right. I'm sure everybody wants to see that. Jack Nicholson was terrific as the Joker. Wasn't he, though? Yeah. Oh, he really was yeah. the movie. He blew it away. Jack said to me, he says, Hey, Kane, how do you think... In fact, the story in, in, in London was when Michael Keaton went to Jack after he wore the costume. Anyway, the Joker is, is probably one of the great villains of all time, comparable to, say, Dr. Moriarty, Sherlock Holmes, and... Uh, yeah, he certainly a, is, and certainly a, after Nicholson's portrayal, oh. he's immortal now. Now, you know, I got the Joker from Conrad Veidt, and we mentioned that earlier, and uh, that's I will where never I got forget. the original idea from. <laughs> So, Jerry, if you're looking. Bob, do you remember, says Stan, not to change the subject, but do you remember that you and I have been wanting to write a screenplay for the longest time? Oh, I meant to talk about and that today. We haven't been able to do it because for these past few years, we haven't been able to agree whether your name comes first or my name comes first. I, I think that's just ridiculous. I think you really ought to yield and say, Stan, your name is shorter or whatever. It might as well come first because it doesn't really matter. But we're depriving the public of this Except great Except for one play. thing. Spirit, and the world is waiting. Can you imagine if you and I got together, okay. both of us in our bumbling, stumbling way, we would probably do everything wrong imaginable, but we might come up with something that could be as good as that cat thing you once saw. What was the as, name of as, that again? As good as Batman and Spider-Man. What was that cat strip you did? Courageous cat. Courageous cat. Courageous cat. Yeah. I could do courageous me, cat. Tell me, I, I think the, the whole world wants to know. Was All right, that a, I'll tell an animated you what. cartoon? Hmm? That was an animated cartoon? Yeah, Courageous Cat and Minute Mouse. In and fact, we're reinstating it now. I'm doing the new adventures of Courageous Cat. Really? For television, and uh, it's going to be out next year. Actually. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Now, I, I, think, you, I think you just I, went I think off I have, the page. I think I ran off the page. Yeah. At any rate, I'd like to do a script with you if you'd give me the first line. All I want is the first line. Feed you the first line? Yeah. How about this? Once upon a time. I like that. Take it, Bob. Okay. <laughs> there was a super... Taker. Hero. No. Superintendent of a building. Oh, you always top me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I know think what that... it is? What's that? We're both afraid to initiate a superhero because we feel... Uh, we'd like to come up with it ourselves. I think we hate to share the limelight. So we keep horsing around saying, you give me the first line, I'll give you the first line. No, but it doesn't matter. If I come up with it, you'll still take the credit for it. And if you <laughs> come up with it, I'll tell everybody it was my idea. So that really is no <laughs> That's concern. exactly why hey, we this never... Is, this is the best you've done yet. Well, uh, I like the joke. He's a great villain. Uh, 
What do you think it would take for me to persuade you to sign that and, and let uh, your I'm favorite give, host uh, have it? I'm going to give that to uh, Do I get paid today? You know, that is a sentence that you are not loath to throw around. No. All right, I, I'll pay you for it. You will? In kind. Listen. You can have my shot of wimpy. <laughs> Did you know Sotheby's just had an exhibition? Mm-hmm. If I didn't, you're going to tell me. <laughs> Go ahead.